Kathleen. Do you need a new pocket idea for your junk journals? I hope so. That's what I've got for you today in this video. It starts with just recycled greeting card envelopes and you end up with three pockets and a tuck for a journal page. So I hope you'll stay with me and see how to make it. This is an easy project. The only problems you might have before you even start is choosing the scraps. Yeah, you can just use all the little strips and offcuts, you know, that end up on your cutting table. And, and then you need envelopes. So if I were you, I would gather several envelopes and have a little mass make to augment your stash because you're going to want to put one of these envelopes in every journal you make. So I am currently making this pretty journal. I'm in that stage of decorating where I'm adding pockets and tucks. And so I wanted to use a little envelope flippy thing and this is what I came up with. So I'm going to show you how to use a regular envelope that opens and I will also show you how to use a recycled envelope that has been cut. So Let's start with this first one that's just plain neutrals because I'm going to make this pocket to go into my pocket pouch. I want a template. So the first thing, I've just, I've just got a couple of scraps and some decorative items. The first thing you want to do is measure the envelope. This one is four and a fourth, so if I cut my strips at four that would be good you want two this is a double pocket on the front so I want a pocket here and a pocket here first of all I'm going to put the little um, divots in the top so I want to put the wrong sides together and you'll see why I'm going to cut both of them at the same time and I'm going to put that off center and then fix that. Yeah. Okay, now what happens is then the, the little thumb space ends up offset and I really like that. So that's why I do that. And then I also want to clip the corners on the bottom and then we're going to glue the top one down first. It's going to look kind of like a belly band at first. And we're not going to glue on the bottom, just only the sides. And then we're going to Okay, so now when something slides in there from the top, it's going to go all the way to the bottom. Now we're going to glue this one on top of that one, and we're going to glue on three sides this time. And I'm going to make sure that I have those edges exactly right. Okay, so there's that. That's as easy as it is. Honestly, so easy. So now we have a pocket in the top and we have a pocket on the bottom. And we have a pocket here in the envelope. So that's three pockets. And then the tuck is made by folding this around the other page. So you have a, a little envelope flip and a tuck on the other side. And I'll show you in a minute how that, how that works in the journal. So let's just, I, at this point, that was the easy part, constructing it. Now we just need to do just a little bit of um, decorating. I do want to remind myself it needs to spill over here on the edge to, um, to decorate the, the tuck. So I'm just going to take some, some tissue and I'm just going to do 
a little bit of a, a collage over here. So there's that. And then I think we'll use a little bit of this napkin. This is how I do napkin decoupage, in case anyone's interested. Just use a glue stick. Okay, then I can come around and trim this. Okay, very good. Let's just put here. That's that's enough to remind me that I want to decorate. Okay, so that's finished. No kidding. Yep. It's pretty easy. Let me now show you how to do it if um, if you're using if your envelope happens to be glued down that you want to use. Otherwise the flap, you know, it won't, that won't work. But we do have that one that's done. So I'm going to take this. This is a, a greeting card that came to my husband. And I'm going to use these two to cover up the name and then perfectly usable. So this is just a little piece of book page that ended up in my scrap pile. So I'm going to do that and just use a little distress ink here to define these edges because this is going to be pretty brown. I'm working on a masculine journal at the moment. So, okay, so now to cut those divots right, I need to put the wrong sides together. And then put the divots in the top. And then when this turns over, then that's offset. So this envelope you can see has this little problem down here, but that's okay because the pocket is going to reinforce that. Let me ink across the top. And we do the middle one first, or the top, the top one, and we're just gluing on the edge. Okay, and now I'm excited to show you how it looks in the journal. In this example, you'll have the two pockets on the front. The third pocket um, will be accessed from this open edge over here. Yeah. So let's just make sure that that's fixed right there, that tear. Good. Okay. Now, what can I do to decorate this? Let's do a label and what else and so I'm putting it on the left side because then that makes kind of a triangle there okay my stamp there. sorry if that shook and I should have had a pad under there that would have made a better stamp and what else have I got it's a little um yeah let's do one of these little Tim Holtz ephemera piece. Oops. When in doubt, put a butterfly. Yeah, okay. Okay. So there's that one is finished. So now with this one, we have um, here, we have a pocket here, and then we have the pocket in here. Maybe I need to make 
a little divot in there as well. So, and then where is the tuck, you wonder? No worries. It's still three pockets and a tuck. So the pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here. But the tuck then attaches to the page like here and here, and then the tuck is behind. So rather than the tuck being inside, and the pocket being behind. The pocket is here and the tuck is behind. Okay, so that's the variation. So now let me show you how it looks in this journal. So I'm pretty happy the way it turned out. So here it is on the page. And I don't, I, I still don't have any um, ephemera for it yet, but, but there's the pocket here. There's a pocket here. It's going to flip out. There's a pocket there. And then on this side, I really like the way this bird just blends in to this garden print. So this will be a tuck on this side. Right? Hey, thanks so much for spending some time with me today. I appreciate it. And I hope this pocket is helpful. We will put this in the pocket pouch and use it again. We'll see you again with a new project.